My name is Jay, and this is my friend Sue. We share a common love for good friends, good times, and good food, and we want to share it with you. This is The Aimless Cook. On a cold day like today, there's no better way to warm up than with some classic comfort food. And with St. Patrick's Day coming up, I got a great idea for some beef and Guinness stew. Okay, so today Jay and I went to the Kingsland Farmer's Market, went to Hoven's Meats, and got a really great cut of organic beef. Uh, we were very pleased with it, and it's just delicious. Uh, we also went and got some vegetables. Of course, we got carrots and potatoes, uh, parsnips, celery. I mean, we got absolutely everything there, so that was really, really wonderful. On the way out, we bumped into um, a lady at Primal Grounds and she was lovely enough to provide us with the beef stock. So that was really, really nice. And that was the only thing we thought, well, you know, we're going to have to make that. What are we going to do? And on our way out, we bumped into her. So that was just great. She was, she was so much fun and we look forward to chatting with her again. So thank you, Margaret and Primal Grounds. Humble lunch, soup and sandwiches. Start with two pounds of cubed chuck. Dredge it in flour with a little salt and pepper. Next, we're going to brown in oil on all sides and then set it aside. Now in that same pan, you want to sweat out some shallots and a little bit of minced garlic. Now once those shallots are sweated out, we're going to deglaze the pan with a little bit of Guinness. And be sure to pick out all those tasty bits of fun with a wooden spoon. Re-add the beef, the rest of that Guinness, the herbs, some beef stock, and a strip of orange zest. For herbs, we're going to use a combination of rosemary, thyme, and bay leaves. Now cover and cook on low for about two and a half hours until the beef is tender. Now if you have a Dutch oven, you can also put it in a 300 degree oven for the same amount of time, or in a crock pot if you want to make things even easier. This bit. Uh, okay. You guys can't be walking around the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, I blame you. I didn't make it to you guys! <laughs> After the two and a half hours, add your carrots, parsnips, and pearl onions and cook until your vegetables are done. Jay got parsnips because I knew he wanted to use parsnips, but I was partial to having potatoes, uh, so we agreed and mixed it up a little bit because there was no parsnip famine. Season with salt and pepper, and you're ready to enjoy. So that's it. Guinness and beef stew for St. Patrick's Day. Take this recipe with you, have fun in the kitchen, and until next time, take care. Today's episode of The Aimless Cook was brought to you by Hoven Farms Certified Organic Beef and Kingsland Farmers Market. Shop local. Forget about that. So am I on there, Jay? Just don't forget about that. Right.